Katrina. More like Hurricane Dardilla. Road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Give it to me, I'm I got no cause I got. Your attention, for example, is mediated by unconscious forces. And you know that. You know that perfectly well. And this is another Freudian observation. You know, if you're sitting down to study, for example, your conscious intent is to study. But you know perfectly well that all sorts of distraction fantasies are going to enter the theater of your imagination nonstop and annoyingly. And, and there isn't really a lot you can do about that except maybe wait it out. You know, so you'll be sitting there reading and your attention will flicker away. You'll think about, I don't know, maybe you want to watch Jane the Virgin on Netflix or something like that. Or maybe it's time to have a peanut butter sandwich or you should get the dust bunnies from un out from underneath the bed. Or it's time to go outside and have a cigarette. Or maybe it's time for a cup of coffee. Or it's like all these subsystems in you that would like something aren't very happy just to sit there while you read this thing that you're actually bored by and so they pop up and try to take control of your perceptions and your actions non-stop maybe you think well this is a stupid course anyways why do I have to read this damn paper and what am I doing in university and what's the point of life it's like you can really well you can really get going if you're trying to avoid doing your homework and 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 then you might think well what is it in you that's trying to avoid because after all, you took the damn course and you told yourself to sit down. Why don't you listen? Well, because you're, you're a mess. That's basically why. Prospero was the Duke of Milan and had a brother named Antonio. Prospero was a deeply loved duke, but unfortunately, he naively put his trust in his brother Antonio. Prospero allowed Antonio to manage. study that said most Americans multitask while they watch TV. I read this when I was getting a massage, and I'll tell you something. I, I can't believe it. 60% of the people that are watching TV, they surf the web while they're watching TV. The whole point of TV used to be to sit down and relax, and now ha everyone has to do something while they're doing nothing. And quite frankly, I think it's rude to not pay attention to what's on TV. I'm not just saying it because I'm on TV. Okay, I am, but still, first of all, most TV shows need all of your attention or you're going to miss something very important. Sunday night, I was watching Revenge, and I bent down for two... Signs that doctors often look out for include disorganization, trouble planning ahead, impatience, difficulty with following directions, and an inability to sit still in one place for an extended period of time. This is more than just a matter of not being disciplined enough or being messy. 